This method can be used to answer key questions in hepatitis B virology, such as finding cellular or virological factors that affect HBV DNA integration. There are multiple advantages to this technique. It's relatively cheap and easy to carry out. Analysis of the results is simple, and it's very sensitive, down to single copies. Though this method can be used to provide insight into HBV integration, it can also be used for other viruses that integrate into the host cell genome, such as HIV, HTLV1, or HPV. To infect the cells, seed 200,000 cells per milliliter in a 12-well plate with 1 milliliter of DMEM. On the next day, use heparin column purified supernatant from HEP AD38 as inoculum to infect the cells at 1,000 VGE per cell in 500 microliters of culture medium. Then, culture the cells at 37 degrees Celsius. On the next day, wash the cells twice with 1 milliliter of sterile 1 times PBS. Then, replace the culture media every two days until harvest. At day three post-infection, treat the cells with 5 micromolar tenofovir disoproxyl and 10 micromolar lamivudine to limit production of HBV replicative intermediates that are amplifiable by inverse PCR. At day 5 post-infection, trypsinize the cells with 200 microliters of trypsin EDTA and resuspend them in 2 milliliters of DMEM containing 5 micromolar tenofovir disoproxyl and 10 micromolar